I've just watched a cane on Netflix, and today I thought I'd have a go at sculpting Jinx and V from the show's title sequence. Let's get sculpting. I'm going to start by building up the rough shape of the torso. I'm not using an armature like I usually would because the sculpture is intended more as a maquette, which is like a 3D sketch used as a model for a larger piece of sculpture to visualize how it might look and work out the approach, materials and so on for the final piece. That is also how the sculptures in Arcane's intro sequence are used. They are rough and gestural version of the polished anime characters, but they still capture that essence of the final piece. I'm sculpting the sisters in plasticine, which is an oil-based clay, meaning that it will never dry out. The pro of this is that you can manipulate it with heat and cold, and I can also use isopropyl alcohol for softening and smoothing. Once I'm reasonably happy with the face, I'm going to melt it onto the body and adjust the torso by roughly cutting it back, giving it that carved look we see in the intro sequence. Next, I'm going to use my extruder tool to squeeze out some flat strands of hair which I'm somewhat randomly adding onto V's head. The downside of using plasticine is that if you want a permanent version of your sculpture, you will need to mould and cast it. But because this is just a maquette, I won't worry about that for this piece. Which means I'm also not too concerned about the many undercuts in this hairdo. Then it's time to move on to our little sister Jinx. Though really, I should have named this video after Powder because in the intro sequence, we see the sisters as kids just after their parents are killed and they're picked up by Vanda. I know that sounds like a spoiler, but it's literally the first two minutes of the show and I'm guessing you wouldn't have clicked this video if you didn't already know a little bit about the characters. Using a gas burner and a free spray allows me to control the hardness of the clay, helping a great deal when it comes to smoothing and adding details. Here I'm using my new favourite tool, which is actually meant for squeezing pimples, but it doubles up as a great tool for shaping eyeballs. After adding some concerned eyebrows, it's time to melt powder's face onto the rest of the sculpture and angle her head accordingly. And I love this pose of the sisters, as they fuse together out of one piece of rock, yet also standing back to back as a sign of the divide between them as they grow up. I'm now adding a little bit of structure to their clothing, but I'm keeping it very flowy and gestural. Finally, it's also time for Powder's hairdo. And right now, I'm pretty happy that I chose to sculpt them as kids before Powder turned to Jinx and grows her long signature braids. And then we are nearly onto the beauty shots. I hope you enjoyed this more gestural style of sculpting and hope to see you again for the next video. Bye!